Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy and Quinn from Cichlid Bros. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at Billy Donovan's custom aquarium here that we helped install and we have been maintaining for him over time. Yeah, so I've been coming over about once every two weeks to do some water changes and some minor cleaning, but when the bulls are on some large road trips like they are on now, I have to come over and feed the fish a lot more and thought this would just be a perfect time to do a real deep cleaning of this tank and just give you guys a closer look of this aquarium. So. Let's dive right in. Okay, so this is the 180 gallon American Cichlid tank that we set up for Billy Donovan about 10 months ago. If you didn't already know, Billy Donovan is the head coach of the Chicago Bulls, and we were really excited to work on this project with him. We got this custom aquarium into his house and it was a very fun day of just getting the tank in place along with the aquascape and just everything else that goes along into a tank install. It was really fun working with Billy who also has the shared interest in American cichlids. We filmed this entire setup and installation and made a video about it which we'll leave in the upper right hand corner if you'd like to see that original video. And we came back weeks later after letting the tank cycle and that's when we added the majority of the fish. And as we mentioned in the intro, we also do regular maintenance on this tank. So we showed some of that in a recent video when we showed a six month update on the tank. I'll also leave that in the upper right hand corner. And one of the coolest things that happened is that we were shouted out on national TV during a Bulls broadcast on ESPN. You know what I didn't know about Billy Don? He loves fish. He's got a fish tank. The Cichlid Brothers in Chicago built him a fish tank. And his favorite fish in the fish tank, Jack Dempsey. <laughs> so we didn't actually build this tank ourselves. That was custom aquariums, but we still really appreciate the shout out from Jeff Van Gundy. It was a very surreal experience. And on top of that, Chicago Radio also discussed this tank setup, which was really cool to hear. Wow, so here is the YouTube video with Chicago Bulls head coach Billy Donovan with the, the company is Cichlid Brothers. So it's definitely cool that people love this tank as much as we do. So let's take a closer look at some of the fish in here just to see how they progressed and some of the growth on each of these. So first off, we have the Convict Cichlid, which was very small 10 months ago. It was even hard to get on camera but now it looks really good with some color and it appears to be a female. Then we have the rainbow cichlid, which is looking great. We have the fire mouth and then we have this Jack Dempsey, which is a really good size, probably the second biggest in this tank and has some real potential of coloring up down the line. So we're really excited about him. And then we have the Texas cichlid, which has grown a ton in this tank. Back when we originally put him in here about 10 months ago, he was maybe two and a half, three inches tops and now he's all of about seven inches and is looking really good. We're keeping a very close eye on this Texas cichlid and if any type of aggression were to cause issues in this tank, we would help Billy out by either removing him into a backup tank of one of ours or finding him a different home. But for now, he's played nice with all the other cichlids. And then we have one of the newest fish that we added about a month ago. We didn't make a video about it just because we were in a hurry at the time, but this is a green Severum. I'm very excited that Billy has a second Severum in this tank. It's my personal favorite cichlid. Quinn's favorite is the Jack Dempsey, just like Billy. And then the other Severum that we added about seven months ago is looking much better. When we added him, he was very small and he was definitely washed out in terms of his color pattern. But that has come back in a big way and he's definitely grown quite a bit and it's one of my favorite fish in this tank. Again, I might be biased because I love Severums, but having the mix of the red spot gold Severum here and the green Severum, I think will look really great in this tank over time. And then another recent fish we added about three months ago was the chocolate cichlid, which I've been quarantining at my house. I added him to the tank when he was really small and he's grown quite a bit, probably about four, four and a half inches already, and he's looking really good. He's also there with a couple of the Geophagus, which are notoriously slow growers, along with the green tear that's somewhere in the back of the tank. There's also a really good looking electric blue Acara, which is another one of my favorites. And I think that covers the stocking list. I may have missed one, but, but overall they're doing really well. I just dropped in some extreme cichlid pellets just to get them out and about, and they're all eating really well. But now Quinn and I are going to show some of the maintenance we do on this tank, including water changes. And in this session, we're also going to clean one of his FX6 canister filters. 
So we start this process by using our favorite tool, the CCHA Ultra Zero Pump. We attach this to the Python hose and it pushes water out of the tank without the need of a siphon on the other end. This is great when you're cleaning a canister filter and you need tank water on the other end. So cleaning canister filters is definitely one of my least favorite things to do in the hobby, but it has to be done and we have to clean these about once every three to six months. So he took the FX6 into his guest bathroom and that's where we started cleaning it out. And don't worry, we cleaned the full shower after we finished with the canister. Yummy! Yummy! I just take the output of the hose and put it into a bucket so that I have tank water for the biomedia and the sponges to rinse. So once we had the top off, it was time to start rinsing some of the sponges with the tank water that was coming from the Python hose. So as you can see, this is much more clean. It's not perfect, but you can just tell the difference based on the older one that's still dirty. Got the fresh kidney cure out there, that's good. The stuff is awesome. It's the best chemical filtration out there by far. And as I finished up with the FX6 canister, Quinn took this time to clean off some of the plants. Thumbs up! Also, one of Billy's neighbors has a very cool backyard koi pond that we can see from up here. This one is particularly fun because you get to clean all 1,000 of its leaves. But once we finish scrubbing the algae off of the plants, then we scrub some of it off the rocks as well, which stirred up a ton of the sand, which is why it looks a little cloudy right now. Once we fill up the tank and let the dust settle a little bit, everything will become crystal clear once again. And here are the fish after the water change. Everyone's looking really good. The tank's not totally clear yet, so we may not have like a perfect after shot. We do have to hit the road, but overall the tank is looking really good. And everything we did today just maintains the overall health of the fish and the tank itself. Okay guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the update on this tank. So if you want to see anything else with this tank, be sure to leave that in the comments section. We really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.